Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are taking a look at a couple equations to solve. Uh, specifically though, these equations, they're single variable equations, just one variable. This one just has a Y to solve for, and this one has an A to solve for. Um, but what's unique about these two equations is they're uh, littered, if you will, with fractions, right? So there's a, there's a lot of fraction terms. So that being said, we're going to utilize the um, tool called fraction busters. So uh, as a reminder, what is a fraction buster? So a fraction buster uh, is the common denominator. So if you can find the common denominator, then you have the fraction buster. The fraction buster is the common denominator. And when I, so I'm going to rewrite these questions because they, they're a little small here. So for part A, we have 7y all over 8 equals 3y all over 5, which equals 11 over 2. So what are my denominators? My denominators are 8, 5, and 2. So I have to find the number that each of these go into, the common denominator, right? What is the common multiple for each of the 8, 5, and 2? Let's see. Uh, 5 times 8 is 40, so that's going to have to be 40 because and then 2 goes into 40. So my fraction buster in this case is going to be 40, right? So I'm going to take and multiply this entire equation. I'm going to rewrite it just so you can see the steps by 40. So I'm saying 40 times every one of those terms. So I take 40, I'm using parentheses to show because I'm going to distribute this all the way through each term. So I'm going to rewrite again. So 40 times 7y over 8 minus 40 times 3y over 5 equals 40 times 11 over 2. So I'm multiplying everything by 40. Why is that significant? Because that is what's going to eliminate my fractions, right? So I can put 40 over 1 for each of these because I'm multiplying each of the 40s times a fraction. And this is where you can actually cross reduce or diagonally simplify, right? So this direction here simplifies because 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 45 times. So then I look at this multiplying what I have left. I have 5 times 7, which is 35y. So notice no longer do I, I started with a fraction with this term. I utilized the fraction buster. Now I just have a term without a fraction. So the next one would be minus what? Well, 40 over 1 times 3 over 5. Again, the 40 and the 5 can simplify diagonally. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 48 times. And then I, then I just multiply 8 times 3, which is 24. So I have 24y. And then equals, here I have the same thing. Another time, 40 and 2 can simplify, right? 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 40 20 times. And then I just have to multiply 20 times uh, 11. I get 220. Okay, so notice I started with terms that had fractions, utilized my fraction buster. Now I no longer have fractions. And now it's just solving this equation as we have before. The same step, simplify this side because I got to get my y by itself. 35 minus 24 is 11. So I have 11y equals 220. Then do the inverse operation, which is division in this case. Divide by 11. My final answer, y is equal to 20. So that is the process, oops, that is the process of using a fraction buster to get uh, an equation, to solve an equation, right? So the whole goal was to find out what Y is, what does, what Y makes this true, and that was a process in which using a fraction buster. So let's quickly look at the next one, which is B. B says A plus 4 over 3 minus a over 7 equals a plus 7 over 5. So once again, fraction buster is what? A common denominator. So here's my denominators, 3, 7, and 5. So what number does 3, 7, and 5 go into? Well, they, they're all prime numbers. Another, another trick to doing this, to finding the common denominator, is look to see what we've got. In this case, I've got all prime numbers. 3, 7, and 5 are all prime. So the only number that's going to all of them will go into is three times seven times five. I got to figure out what that is. So three times seven is 21, 21 times five is 105. So that's gonna be my fraction buster. 
So I'm going to take each of these and multiply by 105. So 105 times a plus 4 over 3 minus 105 times a over 7 equals what? 105 times a plus 7 over 5. Oops, make sure we don't run into that. I'm going to put a line there so you can see that's a separate situation. So <clears throat> what's the trick here? So the trick here, I, I notice you notice you've got this a plus four all divided by three. So what I tend to do just so that way I can see this is a term on its own. I'm using parentheses to show that this is two terms that need to be multiplied by whatever is going to be multiplied. This one's fine because it's a single term but I'll put parentheses around this one as well, okay? So let me, actually, I'm going to rewrite just because to make it cleaner. It's not so cramped there, and you can see the work. 105 times A over 7 equals 105 times A plus 7 over 5, and parentheses there. All right, so when I'm multiplying, again, the whole thing is, is to look at cross-reducing. So... Cross simplifying, 105 over 1, all of that over 3, so these two can cross simplify. So I got to figure out, okay, 3 goes into 3 once. How many times does 3 go into 105? 3 goes into 105 35 times. So this now, I'm going to rewrite, becomes 35 times A plus 4. Keep the parentheses because remember, whatever you ended up here on your as your coefficient needs to be distributed minus and then here we got another one 105 over over one times a that's by the way that's an a a over seven so the 105 and the seven cross simplify seven divided by seven is one 105 divided by seven is 15. so i end up with 15 times a equals uh again put the 105 over one five into five is once 105 divided by 5 is 21. So I'm going to rewrite this becomes 21 times a plus 7. So I, I have an equation. still looks kind of messy, but it doesn't longer have any of these fractions. So I can, at this point, just continue to simplify this and get my a alone, right? So I distribute. So this is 35a plus, I got to distribute times that and times that. So 4 times 35 is... 140 and then minus 15a so i still can simplify here because i have 35 and minus 15a so that becomes 20a plus 140 so now it's all simplified on this side over here distribute the 21 right 21 times a and 21 times 7 so we had 21a plus uh becomes 147 all right and then at this point Get all my A's on one side. I'm going to subtract 21A from this side in order to eliminate the A's. Because I'm looking, my goal is to get my A alone over here. So I have a negative 1A plus 140 equals 147. And then subtract 140 from both sides. And we have negative 1A equals 147 minus 140 is 7. So... Here's my situation. I have a negative 1a equals 7. So what is positive 1a equals? It equals negative 7, right? It's the opposites. So there we have as our final answer.